I nearly passed out walking to the bathroom because it was so hard for me to breathe. Our top story at 5 o'clock, a Salinas COVID-19 survivor with a warning tonight for young people. Take this virus seriously. Thanks for being here for KIOA News at 5. I'm Aaron Groff. Good evening. I'm Veronica Macias. The governor's message couldn't be more timely tonight. Young adults on the Central Coast have become a growing portion of COVID-19 cases. KIOA's Drew Andre live for us in Santa Cruz after speaking with a 24-year-old who has recovered and has more on the new restrictions being lifted. Drew? Hey, Veronica, well, starting tomorrow, beaches are back open throughout the day in Santa Cruz County, but health officials still have their worries about group gatherings and say young people may be the biggest offenders. You think you're invincible, at least think of the ones that you love. Dakota Sandoval is now coronavirus free, but not before a few of the toughest weeks of his life. Well, they were the worst aches and pains I've ever had. If you try to talk sometimes, you'd go on a five, 10 minute coughing fit. The 24 year old spent nearly a week at Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital in April, at times suffering through a 104 degree fever. And Sandoval's not alone. Of Monterey County's 1400 plus cases, 18 through 34 year olds make up 40%. A similar trend in Santa Cruz County, where the same age range represents about a third of cases. And according to the county's health officer, those numbers are trending up around the country. Younger people feel less vulnerable to the virus, and they're the ones who are generally out and about more often. Even with the rise in COVID cases, Santa Cruz County has lifted the daily 11 to 5 closures at area beaches. With so few people paying attention to the restrictions, the county just gave up. We had hoped uh, to continue the beach closure until after the 4th of July weekend, but uh, it's um, become uh, impossible for law enforcement to continue to enforce that closure. But tonight, Sandoval's message to anyone ignoring the virus, be safe for those you care about. If you're not afraid of it for yourself, you should be afraid of it for other people because to me, the scariest thing about this is you can pass it along without ever knowing that you had it. And Sandoval says after a month COVID free, he still occasionally has a hard time breathing. And back here in Santa Cruz, the county becomes the last to lift beach restrictions in the state. Reporting live in Santa Cruz, I'm Drew Andre, KIOA News, Channel 546. All right, Drew, thank you very much. Another note, Santa Cruz County is extending their health order through July 6th. After that, they're just going to follow the state's rules. Santa Cruz County also reporting their 